Hello there folks, welcome to another edition of Shoot with Tapu. I hope you all have been staying safe and keeping well. We've been doing this for the, as long as quarantine has been going on. So I've been getting a lot of uh, comments and a lot of uh, questions and also people have been asking me to uh, share certain tricks with them. I have selected one. Uh, somebody asked me how to photograph jewelry. So jewelry is a reflective surface and uh, something very close to my heart because if you all don't know, I am a jeweler. So I should know these things. Um, it's a very reflective surface. So when you photograph it, uh, you end up taking pictures, not just of it, but of everything it reflects around it. So the entire environment of the room, the self, everything comes in that image. So in order to get rid of all that, you need to be shooting jewelry in something called a light tent. Some people call it a light box. Um, by any name, it is basically a white sheet covering the entire item or whatever you're photographing. And uh, it's a, a sheet which diffuses light so that when light comes towards that reflective surface, it doesn't bounce back in a way where it's showing the surface where it came from. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, one, create a very simple DIY light tent from a sheet. If you wanna be more elaborate, we can make one in a cardboard box, which is, I guess, more durable. And then I'm gonna show you an actual light tent and we can photograph with it outdoors and also indoors and see the difference of the images um, without the light tent and then with the light tent. And also all those food bloggers, this is like the most incredible thing you can use for shooting food. So I'm gonna sort of kill two birds with one stone by doing this, so let's begin. All you need is daylight, a white sheet, a chair also works. Just put a background on the chair, white or black, it doesn't make a difference, and the sheet over it and shoot So them. as you can see, here is my product, which is uh, a little bit of cantaloupe with a fork and knife. The fork and knife are reflective, so if I would have had this outdoors, it would have shown me everything under the sun, but out here, it can only reflect the white of uh, the little light tent that we have made. So here we are, I mean, you can do this at home and take really interesting pictures of food or anything you want. And I'm using a black background, you don't need to. You can also change it to white and have a completely white tent. You can also just change the background to white. I have a card paper being held up here and I have now a little area which looks like a complete studio. And again, my cantaloupe with fork. Here are the results taken by my phone. So it's just a simple shot with the cantaloupe and the fork and knife. And uh, you get a really nice clean image because of that light tent. If you didn't have it, you'd have a mess. So we said uh, we wanted to photograph jewelry. So here I have this item, okay? And uh, I, oddly enough, I have a potato, so don't ask why, but uh, you'll figure it out. So in order to have it stand, I put the potato below my backdrop and I just take my pin and I pierce it through the potato, angle it whichever way I want and then start photographing it. So here we have uh, a little bit of jewelry and soft diffuse light all around it so uh, the reflective surface doesn't reflect at all but looks like this and uh, it's nice and diffused. I can change the angle slightly so I get more light from the top or else just take the picture. Okay, this is to show you what it looks like without uh, my diffuser or light tent. You have the jewelry which will end up reflecting a lot and you'll get reflections. If it was on this way, I would end up seeing myself. Um, so uh, not good. Best way to do it is to uh, do it with a light tent. Here's the results of uh, my phone and the photograph we took in the light tent of the piece of jewelry. This is what an actual light tent looks like. It is a white box made of uh, the same material the soft boxes are made of. And it has a slit in the front through which you put your lens. And uh, then you photograph diffuse things in the front. And here you are, I have put some stuff in there so uh, you can see if I didn't have the light tent, they would reflect all over the place, but in the light tent, they're somewhat manageable. Outside, it would be this. In 
in order to make your DIY light box, you need a carton. Any uh, cardboard box works. I only found this small one because uh, that's all I have here in Corona quarantine. You take that box, uh, you open it out, uh, manage to find out all its seams, find a piece of white sheet which will go over it. Uh, small sheets will also do, I had a big one. And then you have to cut out windows and uh, first find out which is your base. Then on the other three sides, cut out windows and leaving enough space for you to have a strong box. Otherwise, you cut to the edges and it will collapse. Cut that out, then uh, get your white sheet of paper, glue it on it with the German white glue, any white glue, any glue. You can even use scotch tape. I have German white glue, so I glued the entire box together and then stuck the white sheet of paper on the inside of the box. Then you just need to cut out the spare and excess paper, fold your box again, remake it as you would as it would have normally been made. And uh, voila, you have a light tent. I know I've made a really small one, but uh, it works for me because uh, that's the only material I could find. If you have food plates to go in, you need to make a much larger light, light tent. Uh, and uh, for that, you need a larger cart bo box. Otherwise, use the trick which I did showed you all with the sheet. It works just as well. Here we are. I put my DIY light tent in the sun and a little piece of jewelry in there. Let's focus it and uh, bring it closer and show you how wonderfully diffused a light you get from uh, this uh, thing. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed yourselves and uh, learned something interesting today. Thank you for listening to us and uh, hashtag me on shoot with Tapu if you do anything. So take care for the office.